YouTube. Woo! <laughs> Caitlin's out eating her breakfast. She just went, woo! Because she heard me. All right, I know. We is looking real good this morning, ain't we? As you've seen from the title, um, we're going to test out Believe Beauty. Now, these are from Dollar General. We don't have a Dollar General, so my good friend and YouTube sister, Riri, her channel here on YouTube is called Dorissa Rain. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> um, I will have her link down below. She was amazing. She went to their Dollar General and she got three of these for me. One of them, Caitlin is already having, using. They're $5 a piece for foundation. So, I want to see what it looks like. How long does it wear? How does it wear? We're going to do an all day wear test. And trust me, when I tell you we are about to put these this foundation to the actual test. Because after I get done starting this video, I'm headed out for a mile and a half walk. And then, once I get back, I'm going to freshen it up a little bit. If it needs it, I'm going to try not to. But I do have a um, Instagram collaboration that I need to do as well. So, she's going to be put to the test. So let's get this show, the, this show started, shall we? Now, I don't know too much about the Believe Beauty Let's see, skin finish foundation, medium to full coverage. This one is in the shade Warm Vanilla. I'm not exactly sure what shade I am. It's kind of hard to figure it out. This one is Cashmere. I think, looking at the two of them, I mean, they almost look the same, but I think it's going to be the cashmere. I don't know. We're going to find out. But first, I've already done my skincare. That's done. We're going to put on some of the Tatcha primer right quick. Just a little bit. Because it's expensive, but she nice. All of my skincare right now is Tatcha. And this stuff really does blur. Okay. Oh, there goes the mailman. Hopefully in the right direction. Okay. I'll stop singing. I'm sorry. I, do, I, cannot, I don't know why I took that out. All right. Here we go, y'all. We're going to pop on this. First of all, let's see what shade. This one is oh, okay. a little seal. Okay, that should open that one. Oh, oh does it just oh, duh, Christine. Which one do I think is going to be the better shade? I think it's, I really do. Let's try the warm vanilla first. There we go. Ooh, that might be a little, uh oh. Houston, we may have a problem. This may not be. Oh wait, that might be it. So I think it's going to be this one over here, the cashmere after all. I think. 
And then I got worried, is it gonna oxidize? All right, we're gonna go in with cashmere and see what happens. Yeah, that's too dark. I think it definitely is cashmere. Okay. Cashmere, here we go. I just put two pumps on my big, huge blender. And if you guys like this this beauty blender, this is a Kash, Kasha something or other. It's $5 at Target. Okay. That's not bad. There's no smell to it. Make sure I take this down my neck. Now I do have very dry skin. And it doesn't say anything about, oh, it's made in Germany, that's cool. It doesn't say that it's for dry skin. It doesn't say that it's matte finish. It just says a skin finish foundation. Medium to full coverage. So. I like that it has a pump. For five dollars, I like that it has a pump. I was did I didn't think it would. My nose is always red, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how much that covered up my red nose. I can still see that little pimple right there, but more texture than redness. That's really cool. I may have to talk to Riri and have her get me a couple of these just to have on hand. All right, so I am definitely cashmere. No, it, oh shit, did we use cashmere? Yeah, we did. Not warm vanilla, we used, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So that is definitely my shade. I will find somebody who is this shade to pass that on to because it's not gonna work for me. It's definitely not going to work for Caitlin. I can tell you that right now. All right, so we got that bad boy on. I wanna see how it works with the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. That's nice. All right. So do me a favor in the comments down below. How many of you would like to see a full on get ready with me? 
just where we're just chit chatting, shooting the shit, you know, all that good stuff. I'm actually really loving how this went down. I do, I do. All right, so we got those two. We did that. Let me throw down some powder. What? So I'm gonna use this for sure. Oh, let's use the elf. Oop, the elf powder. Quite quick. I'm just going in with my Morphe R13 brush. I don't use a whole lot of powder because I have more mature skin. But I do want to kind of set certain areas. No baking here. Okay. All right, there's that. And then, oh, I didn't grab a big fluffy brush to wisp it away. Hang on one second. First, we're going to take our big fluffy elf brush. We're just going to sweep that around. Make sure everything is blended in really well. Okay. I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. We are done with our look. This is what we got today. Um, I used, for my eyebrows, the Kat Von D, KVD, whatever, um, brow pomade. And that is in the shade Taupe. I really enjoy that. My eyes is the Miracle Glam Light Cosmetic. Okay, Glam Light Cosmetics Miracle Palette, right there. And she is pretty. Look at those colors. I got that from El Negs in my friend mail. Thank you so much. Um, for my bronzer, I use the Hoola Benefit. Um, I don't think there is. I think Hoola is the shade. It's a little mini though. That is a project pan. I'm trying to get pan through that. And then another project pan is my unique blush that I've had forever. And for some reason, I cannot hit pan on this sucker. And this is in the shade Spirited. It's even broken. But there's the color right there. So, there's that one. I got that. Highlighter Ofra in Glazed Donut. Just a little bit. Again, El Nex. Thank you, sir. And then I used all, well, yeah, all Morphe brushes. All of my, well, not all of my, but all Morphe brushes. And then I used the Epic 4D, Epic, 
Ugh. Unique Moonstruck Epic 4D Mascara Project Pan. And then the Sugar Lips Shop Lip, excuse me, Lip Gloss. This is the one that has the little decals in it. If you guys can see that. I think the Louis Vuitton. Super cute. I like it. And it is a thicker formula than her original, so I really like that too. So now, all we're going to do is take our Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I'm going to spritz that all over my face. Just to like that. Take my big beauty blender again. And just lightly push everything in. Get everything to melt together. And to add a little bit more moisture to my dry face. So there we go. I did not use any eyeliner, which is fine. Yeah, that was it. Show you guys what I used on my eyes though, huh? So I took Heavenly all over the crease and then up a little bit. And then I took Rosa on the eyelid and then Fearless on the outer corner. And that's all I did. And then underneath, I went in with Fearless also. So just those three shades. That was it. So I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. So far, she's wearing good. Um... It looks, it looks really good. The Epic Mascara is a little lackluster, but I'm digging the foundation because that's what we're here for. She's not sinking in anywhere. She looking good so far. So we're gonna go head out for our walk. She has been set. She has been. By the time I get my shoes on and stuff, she'll she'll be perfect. It's not tacky. Oh, well, maybe a little bit, but I just sprayed all that. I just sprayed my face, so she'll dry down. It'll be fine. Okay, we'll see you guys back here in a minute. Class that you need to. Okay, we're back. Um, I am sweating. We're at the halfway point, 0.75 miles. Um, I can't. I can't really tell, but I'm gonna let you guys see. We'll see more when we get home. You look very sweaty. Well, I mean, I know. I'm looking at the foundation. It's definitely coming off a little bit. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's getting oily and stuff. It's not very... Well, it's not oily. It's sweat. I mean, it's not... I don't know. I have to see when I get home. Because I can't see in this viewfinder. So, but you guys can see... So, yeah, halfway. We had to stop for water. Poor Pandora's like, <gasps> so we had to get baby girl some water. So, there's that. All right. Also, we did not bring the demonic food with us. See you in a little bit. All right, 1.51 miles. So, we did a mile and a half. Woo, we just got back. And y'all, I am sweating. It is freaking hot out there. Like, it's hot. But I was going to want to show you guys. I'm going to take some tissue paper, just paper towel. Let's see what happens. 
I'm just gonna blot it. I'm not gonna rub it. I'm just gonna blot it. Just like that. Oh. Just like that. Oh. A little bit, but not a lot. She's still there. So I think what I'll do is get my Tatcha skin mist just to help refresh everything. And then that'll be it. Damn, that highlight is still there. Whew. We done good though. Come on, Caitlin. not bad some of it came off clearly but I'm gonna take you guys into the glam room we'll sit back down and uh, I'll do the Tatcha and we'll see if we need to do a touch-up so yeah there you guys go we'll be back in just a second I know I keep looking up at the monitor sorry we'll be back in just a second now that we're back in the glam room, let me pull up a mirror, see what we're looking like. So you guys were in the living room with me when I did the blot test. Okay, so some of it came off of my nose. It actually doesn't look that bad. This little pimple is still covered up for the most part. Okay. It's really not that bad, you guys. I'm kind of surprised with all that sweating I did. So let's do this. Actually, let me have that back a little bit. I'm going to take some of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist right here. We just going to spritz her on a little bit. Just like that. Just to lighten this and I'm just going to press it in. That's all I'm going to do. That's our touch up. Now I'm gonna go eat lunch. Oh, just so y'all know, it's 2.06. So we have had this on, um, four hours. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go eat lunch. We just had lip gloss on, no big deal. And this is the Sugar Lips Shop um, lip gloss. Okay, I'm kinda digging this Belief Beauty. Um, I think, uh, I think she might actually be worth the hype because she lasted for a mile and a half walk and I was sweating. All I did was take a paper towel and just dab. Don't wipe it because you're just going to smear it off, but just dab. And I just did a cool down, sucked down a freaking ton of water. And there you go. So we just touched up with a little bit of Tatcha. And that's it. So let's go eat some lunch. If you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, please do so because I post a lot of pictures. Um, 
and all of those will be linked down below so okay see you guys in a little bit all right you guys it is the end of the day things got a little eventful there we went to actually i don't know where it was but it was a bridge we were under it with all the water jeremy launched the drone which then launched a bunch of mosquitoes and um, black flies and if you know what black flies are they bite Thankfully, I took some of my essential oils, brewed up a little mixture, thanks to Miss, Miss Rachel. Oh, so much better. So much better. All right. So, this, we are wrapping up this video, yo. I am tired. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's been a while. It's been almost 10 hours since I've had this on my face. Um... This is the Believe Beauty that you can find at a Dollar General. Not a Dollar Store. Dollar General. This is $5 foundation. And I think she wore really, really well. Given the day that I have had. Um, we walked over a little over a mile and a half. I sweated. There was tears. No, I'm just teasing. No, there um, were tears. Maybe a few. Um, fighting the bugs. I mean, she been through hell and back. Okay, y'all. So, all in all, I mean, that's mascara. You, the, the redness in my nose is peeking out. This little pimple is still, is still hidden though. Oh, she moved that. Okay. That overhead light. I don't know anything. This one over here. Yeah, you moved it around. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I was gonna say I, had, I didn't do anything. I know. It's actually not bad, you guys. For five bucks, I mean, damn. I don't think my mascara lasted nearly as well. This is foundation. She's not clumpy or bumpy or... I think it looks pretty damn good. What do y'all think? Nice. Yep. Okay, you guys. This is Fab Fit Mama approved. <laughs> huh? What? Nothing. I didn't do nothing. We'll have we'll have Caitlin do like a little stamp of approval somewhere. Do you want me to make you a stamp? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. But yes, if if I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I kind of wish I'm gonna keep a hold of this one here because I think um once I get a little bit more sun, this might actually work for me, or I might have to um, put the two of these together to make a, a little bit, little bit of a darker shade. Do they have a red shade? Because if I get a little more sun, it'll work for me. Oh, my face. Okay. I know, my face is hot. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. If you have a Dollar General, I would suggest trying it. For sure, it's five bucks. That's Five bucks for a foundation that lasts this long. Yeah, I like and looks, mine. Huh? Mine, I like mine. Yeah, Caitlin likes hers too, and she doesn't like foundation. That's very true. She doesn't like foundation, and she loves it. So, there you go. Um, okay, until next time. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.